Under the surface. Uh, I'll be honest with you before we even start this guide. I don't stealth this map very often. I totally can. I just find it to be easier and simpler to do 90% of it. Go loud, drop everything off in the helicopter and go home. There's no in-building loot drop-off at all. And the zip line is visible to guards. It's super, super dangerous for no reason. There's a way around that. You can use motion detectors or I like to use the micro cam that I have right now. Uh, I'll show that to you guys in a second. Just to briefly go over the favors in the map, additional QR keys are okay, but not required for how I do this map. And I'll show you that in a second. The dumpster secure point is actually awesome. You can just throw loot from the roof straight down into the dumpster. I haven't figured out the angle or played with it much yet though. So we're not gonna pick that. Faster chopper is interesting, but I feel like not required. The chopper is really quick anyway. Zipline bag I do take. It is dangerous. Guards can see it, but it's an easy way into the building. And if you're paying attention to it, it's not a bad way to get your loot out. So I take zipline personally if I'm soloing this. If I have friends, I might be like, yo, somebody bring zipline because it's just easy and also bring dumpster drop off or faster chopper or something like that just to get us to the map quick. Be careful when you are picking up the zipline at the beginning of the heist. For whatever reason, picking up your own duffel bag off the sidewalk is seen as an illegal activity. Lots of options I have like never spawned here before with the zipline. Uh, I have the perk that makes people not care about illegal actions when you have rush and you get rush for being near them. I just suggest it in general for all stealth runs. I, I don't, I've never spawned there before. Anyway, you come over here to the dumpster. You throw that on there instead of climbing up. You just mask up down here and zip apply. I've never been seen on my way in. This window though, will get your loot seen on the way out if you're not careful. Uh, so we'll take a peek in here first. Break room. And lounge, yeah, no sign of the security room there. I like to take the security room. There are 44 goddamn cameras on this map. I don't really need to know the math that know that not having those cameras is a better time. And I come up to four here, I cut in and drop down right on that. These cameras can see you, so I like to move nice and quick if they're not down. But that's the whole route. You just drop down on that, walk over. The only lasers that'll see you here are that kind of V that goes from there to there and there to there. So if you're between that V through this hallway, this whole area is free and you can just drop in. Again, I like to kill cameras first, but if they're not there, I'll just go for this because why not? You can also hack these cameras. It's not the end of the world. Uh, manager's office is there. That's got things I need in it. Okay, that was timing. Anyway, we do need to come into the manager's office. It tells you a couple of important things about the map. First off, on the computer, it will tell you now, make a note of where that the, the Uma Ledet paintings are in E4 and E7. The Vicario paintings are in E5 and E6. Uh, I don't pay any attention to this, to be honest with you. Yes, it's important information for the heist. It's required to complete the heist. But I do usually just take every single painting because it makes life easier. Uh, behind here, against the floor, is the secret safe. This has the USB stick in it where you need to use it on the authentic painting upstairs. That you have to use the can- Scanner? The canner? The scanner from the server room in order to figure out which one is legit. It doesn't matter if you're just looking for heist completions. You can turn in the fake one. You just get less money. That drive can unlock oh, well. The for the uh, these are important for the True Connoisseur secret, but I'm not talking about that here. I'm going to put up another video talking about how you do True Connoisseur in its entirety. Just know that these three are important. And they're in the manager's office. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, and I'd like to find out. That is the security room, so I do need to get in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hack both of these. I unfortunately don't have rush, so we're just praying a guard doesn't show up. They like to blindly walk around these corners and just catch you. Very frustrating. I kill this man. And I take his cell phone. This is a heist game. Get over it. So we grab the QR code. This guy's dead. We answer the radio. Um, you don't have to kill him. You can use the domineering or whatever it is perk to make guards surrender to you if you want to do pacifist for whatever reason. But there are 44 cameras. 
I don't like 44 cameras and either should you. So I take him out every single time I play this map. Then we come back out here. We're still working our way through the upstairs exhibition halls. This is the route I like to take. We hit four first. The cameras are down now. That's nice. We run over here to, I think this is five. Cut through here. Wait till this bar passes because it can hit you on top of this exhibit and screw your whole life up. Then we drop down here, jump across as to not touch the sensitive floors. Turn that off. The scanner and the floors are clear. Now this is also done. We'll check this door. The manager's walking around. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. Looks like the security thing might be right. Oh, nope, nope, not there. Oh, let's not just blindly walk into that hallway then. There's a man on his phone and a guard. What fun times. There's a guard. Uh, there is a black panel on one of these walls in the main area. You need it to unlock security to be able to loot things from upstairs. I don't normally work on that until I have open security for all of the rooms. Again, this isn't a map that I full stealth usually anyway. I'll come in here with friends. I'll let them deal with security while I get all the exhibition halls. This is a really good group stealth map. We pop into this vent, shoot our way down and drop. Wait for this laser to rotate. Jump on through, run over here. Wait for this laser to rotate. Be super quick. Jump there and there and there. And then we can pull that and the floors and the lasers are gone. Life is easier. I don't normally go this way. I just wanted to check and see where security was. Guard Come over there. There, I got a guard there. This is the server room that I needed access to. And these three rooms all had phones. This is good. For my strategy of using the roof to go through everything, you only need three QR codes. That machine can tell you which Umaladet painting is real. Don't lose it. Don't lose your Uma Ledet identifier. And we can just take it up here. This is again a part of my route. That's why I go kind of backwards. The first one I go to is E4 on the roof, and I go forward to get up to the roof, and then for the next two, I kind of go back towards the way I was rotating to get up to the roof. This gets me up here to what I believe is E7. And I think E7 was one of the ones, or is usually one of the ones where you have to scan a painting. So I've brought the thing with me. Boom. Those lasers are always static. Dropping down is really, really easy. Uh, this one's got a little USB thingy on it. So I'll leave this here. Uh, maybe I'll tuck it into the corner just in case. You can sometimes pre-lockpick these. Yeah. But you can't get to them until security's off. So that is upstairs covered. Spotted a guard. Put that thing in place. Now the next step that we need to walk our way through. Watch the guard. Of course, is figuring out where security is along the inside of the middle. Uh, I don't have a gun with a very good scope on it right now, but I might just be able to go up to the roof to get a good look at it, if I'm being uh -huh. honest. Tried to shut that, it didn't want to shut. There it is. It's always along the inside here somewhere. That guard. We'll just put this here. So that window is where my zip line is. I need something watching that. So that's why I threw the camera down right there because now at any point in time I can do this and I can check and see if anyone is guard. coming that can see my loot before I put it on the zip line. You need six security guard. clearances for each floor. Surface takes forever just because of that objective. Uh, it's a map I was interested in figuring out a speedrun for but dealing with the six hack points just takes a lot of time and it feels like there's a lot of rng involved for how you have to move how you can move not that a lot of this becomes a lot easier if you're using these exhibition halls that i've opened up 
because guards will never enter Just exhibition halls if they're not in search. So you can always stop into them, you can stop into these rooms, use that stuff as a staging area for yourself and your loot, depending on where you need to hide. I'm just making sure that's unlocked in case I need to dip in there later and I don't get caught in a place I don't want to be. Look out, a sieve. Okay. Just got to keep eyes on a lot of turning heads and hallways. A guard. The hardest part is this right here dealing with these like corners because you can come up on a corner they can come up on a corner you can run straight into each other what's the guard that is the same corner with the same guard and same civvy as earlier uh if you're ever getting annoyed by the placement of guards too or the fact that maybe some of the security scans are too far away don't be afraid to run back up onto the roof you can re-enter any of the halls you've been into via your old routes and now that there's no security is no danger this is the only one that kind of sucks because you will take damage coming down from up here. I could probably like move in a way that maybe I land on one of those and don't take damage, but I have never been so Guard, over there. beaten on this map that I was afraid of taking just a little bit more. That's another option, if you're wondering. I was afraid that he might come at me, so I was getting ready to throw a knife. I had a Gordon. guide half done for Dirty Ice earlier, where I was trying to show off that very mechanic, and he came around the corner at the second I hit G, and I caught him in the face with a knife. So now I'm super, super paranoid about my knife throwing. But that's why I like to bring throwing knives. Those two knives are two instances of, oh dear God, I have completely screwed up. Please look somewhere else. They're the tiny distracting rock that we always wanted in Payday 2. Oh. The upper floor display cases are now accessible. Well, I wasn't really watching my flank there. Okay, so we come in here and then we go back up. Now that I've broken security upstairs, I need to do it all again downstairs. But I dropped off that, um, that and I'd like to go make sure that it's actually in the right position. Might take damage here. Oh, here we go. So we will come here. We'll lock pick that. Open the display case, that goes here. We get our scan going. This little screen will tell you if you've got the right one or not. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter. If you don't care and it says not authentic, you can just take the not authentic one you'll get less loot. You might not get a challenge completed. I'm not sure if there's a challenge related, but it'll let you finish the map. Uh, I'm not going to, but you totally can. For a full pull, I usually start grabbing all these bags and I'll ferry them up to the roof and put them on that zip line I was talking about. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. This is supposed to be a video about completion, not about full pulling. It's the same strategy, it just depends on how long you stay here. Okay. So, those are open now, we come back upstairs. Now I need to get to the ground floor. Which I think is... Here? Yeah. So this stairwell goes all the way through. For the ground floor, there's no roof option. You actually need to use the QR codes, but that's why we picked up the three of them earlier. Come down here. These can be terrifying because the head guard will stand on the other side of them and stare in. So do be careful. I have had uh, friends open it and have heart attacks and start screaming and get caught. And well, hilarious. I, you know, you want it to happen to other people, you know? So this room just has the floor. Uh, normal jump here will do. Uh, you don't have to sprint across here, but I like to because the wall will catch you and it guarantees you don't screw up. I have screwed up if that's not a good enough indicator for you. And you gotta be Guard, over there. careful out here. 
Surface is rough because, like, the whole map is a secure area, so sprinting isn't allowed. Which means if you're ever seen and, like, out in the open, you're just kind of screwed. This one only has the motion tracker that moves. Its panel is over there. Very, very simple to just avoid. Just don't let it get behind you and have it follow you. And then two or uh, one and two are connected. So this gets me into one. This one only has security, security cameras. So all security in the exhibition halls is turned off the for this part. The only thing I have left area. to do is turn LCD type display. security off. Which I think it actually might be marking for me and has been because it took forever for me to come down here because I started upstairs. And the game was like, bro, you blind. Hello. Oh, see, that's why I opened that door. You never know when they're just going to walk oh. somewhere, man. But I have rush so we can get in here really easy. I know nobody comes in here either. You can often find another QR code in there if you need to. This panel, unlike the one upstairs, isn't always in the middle. It can be here. It can be over in that room behind the bar. What's the guard? It's got a couple of homes. Its hack radius is also a lot larger for the downstairs area. So six more of these and security's down downstairs as well. Not sure I like the idea of going for this one. There are people out the front as well through the glass. Guard. Like that guy. And people can just blindly walk out of there. And I can't sprint, as I've alluded to a couple of times. There's a guard. I'd like to turn him with a throwing knife or a hack, but him with a hack he stopped in a spot that i found most annoying so we hacked him guard over there get up close here so he can't see get another hack done Am I wrong? I feel like it's not six. I feel like I've been miscounting and I only have to do five, but I've just been quoting six like an idiot. I really a guard. didn't count when we were upstairs. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only five, right? Oh, I didn't. Oh, the okay. Yeah, see, I didn't feel very good about coming to this one. Like I said, I don't stealth this map very often, but I had no idea that there was a patrol route guard. upstairs where a dude just, like, stares at you over the railing. There's a guard. I could turn him with a throwing knife, walk up and jump the counter behind him and be the hell out of here. Um, but, you know, I'm just a little nervous about everything. What's the guard? Oh, my God. And now there's a second guy. Okay. We're here. As far as I know, nobody comes behind the counter. Oh, God, does nobody come behind the counter, right? Hey, listen, I thought I knew things, and now I'm questioning it because one little thing went wrong. Guard, over there. Oh, look at this big dickhead. Okay, so I'm feeling unsafe, and therefore I'm not moving. Apologies, but we've done 99% of the map, and I don't want to throw the guide away now and be like, oh, look at how dumb that guy is. Now he's got to re-record 20 minutes of bullshit. Oh, it's happening, though. Guard. Hello? Okay. I just want to ping on you, my guy. The guard. There we go. Very, very tempting. Guard, over there. To have used Guard. a throwing knife on one of those guys to make them turn away so I could do that quick. 
Yeah, okay, there's five. It's still Ground 10 instead of 12, but like, that's still 10. That's still quite a bit. I wasn't paying attention to the earlier objectives in the office. So I don't know where the objectives are. Which means I did say that I wasn't going to full pull in this guide, but out of pure lack of information and inability to go back upstairs and check because god that sounds awful might just take everything oh i see my fingers are for show so that one was marked that should be the greg judd painting that they want that's always in e1 by the way So we'll take this and maybe I'll go swing up to the manager's office. Oh There's the my guard. God. He doesn't need to be hacked. But I'm going to. Okay, so here comes the thing I was worried about earlier. Where I check that and you make sure that nobody's watching. Then you come up here, and you throw that, and it goes. Spotted a guard. Guards do patrol out there, but as far as I know, the ones on the ground never see. And now that's safely in a dumpster. And we check our little camera, and nobody can see our business. So I could pop over there and drop that in. Wouldn't be too much of a problem. I can use my little camera to check and make sure it's safe to come back. But we don't need to. So, we're going to drop back into this room. Be careful here, by the way. If you miss this and hit the floor, that's high enough. You just die. There's the manager's office and all the information that we forgot about 15 minutes ago. E4 and 7. So, the one in E4. And then E5 and 6. Okay. Okay. Someone there. Imagine you walk into your office and you hear somebody leave over your shoulder. E5 and 6, and I'm looking for the ones with blood. In them. So you walk up, and your UV light shines, and you go, Wow, that is disgusting. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for disgusting. Boom. Disgusting. Take it. We have disgusting. Now we need to find the other disgusting, which I think is in six. There's a guard. Like, we just checked, but I'll be real with you. I, I don't pay the most attention to anything. Do you know what? We're here. Yeah, five and six. Guard. Fine, I'll wait till you're gone. Don't challenge guards in this map. Just... They will catch you. If he's distracted with something, that's fine. But, like, if you're going to press them and, like, just try and go around the corner... I... Eh. I have enough failed runs to tell you that just don't. Just let him go. Just let him go. And then we pop this up again. We have a look. One man with his back to me. Not feeling super hot about that, but I'm going to do it anyway. There it goes. If they see that, by any way, just, just for a frame, you have to pick it up for them to not call. Which means you have to chase that motherfucker. Okay, so four, seven, six. Six is over here. <gasps> Remember I said I'd never gotten low enough to care? We're getting there. That was a drop. A drop for sure. This one also disgusting. Disgusting is what we're looking for. We're about gross. Uh, 
All right, we'll go check the other one just to make sure it's not disgusting. Not disgusting. Hmm. Not in my art gallery. Okay, so we got disgusting. We got Greg Judd. Now we just need the authenticated Ledette painting, which is in... Four? Which is in four. All right, let's double check this. Guard, the man over there. there, but guess what? That man is no longer looking at my Biesnios. There it goes. And we've been in four like six times. I'm scared to run above them. I've never had them hear me on the roof, but when I know somebody's down there, I just don't. And then it should be... Oh, let's sh shut that just to be sure. It should be right here, right? These two paintings that need the authentication, they don't move, as far as I'm aware. And yoink. Spotted a guard. So sorry that this guide was so very long, ladies and gentlemen, but this is a really, really long map. And if you want to full pull it, it's the exact same system. You just move everything up to the roof. My strategy for that, as far as the first floor is concerned, is you take everything in E1 and 2, you move it into 1, and then you ferry it over to the stairwell through the vent. You can put it right under the vent, and no one will see it, even the head guard when he looks in. Makes life very, very easy. And uh, E3 on the other side, you just ferry that oh, one straight to uh, the stairwell next to it. This guy better not see some shit. I'm in a dumpster. Okay. So, that's an objective painting. That's an objective painting. This one should be the one from E1, because it sat up weird. Oh, maybe not. Is this the one from E1? Did I make a mistake? Nope. Those are all the objective paintings. Additionally, if you want to go in there and get all the loot, like I said, move it all up. If it's in any of those stairwells that go straight to the roof, it's free. If it's not, it's really easy to get upstairs. Just take your time and be aware of guards that are patrolling in and out. It is a longer, larger map. But it's not even that hard if you just take your time and let guards do their stuff. I hope that helped. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.